So doing another request here, this is 6006v6, which apparently is a remake of a map called 2002v2. Um, this is done by someone named Twitch. Uh, our friend Rayla rec uh, requested this one, so here you go. Uh, I've never played this one before. Um, I did uh, check it out a little bit, though, and it looks really cool. So I'll show you around. It's actually quite big. And this is one of those maps that actually is ideal for 32 players, or at least would be, but I'll have to explain something in a bit. So yeah, the thing about this map is that on the outer rims, which I'll show first, there's a lot of different little passageways connected by ladders. And these passageways go across the whole frickin' map. So, and they're full of stuff. Um, so yeah, as I've said, I don't know how this plays compared to the map that it's based on. Um, it could be, like, way different. It could be, like, entirely the same. It just expanded. No idea. Um, uh, maybe I'll have to check out 2002v2 at some point. But anyway, as you can see, yeah. Uh, there's a bunch of different areas. What I like is that they all look kind of different, so you can kind of tell where you are at any given time. Because, you know, there, there's a problem with some maps I've played before, where it's, like, the first time playing it, you're not going to be able to figure out where everything is. But this is one of the better examples where everything's kind of, like, textured a little bit differently. Has a slightly different, like, you know, uh, aesthetic. So you can, if you know the map even a little, like, remedially, you can kind of figure out where you are. So, yeah, as you can see, we got another little area over here. Um, this area... I don't really like this. I gotta nitpick real quick here. There's some nice stuff here, like a long jump, if I remember. But I'm not a fan of this having to crawl through it. And, um... Yeah, that hap can happen. But yeah, I'm not really a big fan of that. There's a lot of little gimmicks in this map, which you'll see. So going on over here, you got a crate area, which again's got a, a, a lot of sub... There are a lot of shotguns and submachine guns on this map. There's also random sound effects, which I'm not too big a fan of, if I gotta be completely honest. Uh, you got a teleporter over here, though. Uh, which... Puts you up here, and I can't quite remember what's up here. Oh yeah, the Hornet's up here. I'm not aware how to get up there. I, I'm gonna go right now. I'm sorry, Rayla, if I'm doing this in, like map injustice by not knowing all the secrets. Because this seems like there's quite a bit to find and discover, but I'm not... Like I said, I've never played it before, this, so if I'm missing anything, uh, I'm gonna apologize now. But I'm gonna try to show off. Like, I don't know. I would assume he had to gauze jump to get to some of these places. Uh, which it looks like, uh, this is kind of dumb. Uh, looks like there's a guy's jump here, but this happens. It, like, it's cute the first time, but when you're trying to actually, like, fight people, it, eh, I don't know. I'm, I have mixed feelings on, like, cheap traps like that. But, you know, that's not the worst thing I've ever seen before. You fall for it once, and you don't fall for it again. Just, uh, another long jump. I like that this, like, you know, they actually put in long jumps here, though. Because, you know... In half, you know, I brought up previous to the previous video, I think. Okay. I, I feel like you could make that from one of these. Maybe this one. Yeah, hold on. Maybe that's how you're supposed to get over here. You're discovering the, the secrets of the map alongside me, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a feeling. Oh, yeah, that might be what you're supposed to be doing here. Yeah, all right. I think I got it now. So you can go up there and do that. You can get some nice weapons. I don't know what this does, though. What does this do? Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's a lot of little goofy things on here. What does this do? No, really, what does this... What does this do? Is it like a heal, or...? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about random sound clips. I want to check out real quick. Oh, well... Is that a random thing? I thought that took me to somewhere different. Unless there's more than one of these teleporters here. Then in that case, that might explain how you get to certain areas. Yeah. I would imagine. Oh, come on. Well, you know, we got a lot of guys here. Really? I don't know if I could walk on the sides of the map. Yeah! And then there's a whole bunch of stuff up here. I Let's see. It looks like there's an entrance way here, so there might have been another way to get up here. Interesting. I, I don't know what this is. If there's any references I'm not getting, I, I apologize. 
So, where did this lead from? Ah! Oh. So you could just... I see, so that's how you get up here normally, okay. So anyway, let me just go back out real quick. I about showed off. Most of it is just the corridors and the crate areas, which is good, but you know. Like, you know, I can show that off in a few seconds. What's interesting, and also leads into the reason I can't show this off with too many players, is that if you go in back in here, I'll, sh I'll show you. You got these buttons here. I'll show you what this one does in a second. Uh, you also got credits. I don't know if this, this is credits. Poop Mesa. Yeah. I don't know who Twitch was. Is this a remake? Oh, hold on. And complete rebuild of 2002V by Jake. Thanks to Moonshine, RDC Audio Man, and RDC for testing in ideas. Colon. Sincerely, Twitch. PoopMesa.com. RoboDeath.com. Uh, this feels like a different era right here. Anyway, so yeah. Now you know a little bit more about this map. Uh, I'll press this in a bit, but see, this right here is the reason I can't show off more than eight people, actually. I guess I could have done 12. Uh, so yeah, if you pr press the green one. Yeah. And here's that death room again. But yeah, if you press the red button, uh, it starts activating, uh, I, I'm gonna assume it's supposed to be a nuclear weapon or something. And it closes off this area, so if you're not within here, when this goes off, I'll show you. If you'll just give this a few seconds. Let me just, you know, have a little jig out here while we wait for this to go up. Gotta say, while I think this map is extremely well done, I am not a fan of uh, voice clips. Anyway, if you're caught outside when this goes off, um, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, you, you die. Yeah, and that happens. Um, what was happening though is that when I was testing this map out with the JK body, uh, I had 32 people on, and it looked like everything was going good. But the moment that happened, and invariably one of the bots, or even myself, pressed the red button, uh, yeah, it would crash every time. It would say something along the lines of E, allocate failure. So I think what was happening is that all the bots respawning at the same time or something would crash the thing. And I thought, okay, I'll lower the player count. Well, it took me to lower it to like 12 or 8 people for it to stop like crashing when that happened. And, you know, I even decided to, like, be really thorough about this and test it and see, okay, it, will it crash if I leave the bots to themselves for a little while? Uh, I left it on overnight, and it crashed with 12 bots. It didn't crash with 8 bots, though. So that's why we're doing it with fucking, excuse my language, but we're doing it with 8 bots. I know, I'm weird. I, I get it. <laughs> Because, you know, I think it slows everything down, or I just find it kind of annoying. And I also don't want to deal with the off chance of a crash. So you saw it. I've showed off everything. My duty has been fulfilled, and that was a failure of a climb there. To be fair, that red sky is kind of goofing with me, I guess. I wonder with the long jump if you could grab that before it uh, collapses. Like, you know, the, the little, like, air pad? Probably not, though. I'm not gonna try it again.
Yeah, but that's what I like, that they actually decide to put on several... Um, weapons on the ground and stuff, so you know you always got a weapon around. I'll have to ask you, Rayla, if you played this on a busier server, did it- have you ever experienced crashes? Like, with a lot of people and, like, the red thing going off? Just if that's the case, then it's a problem with JK Potty, and I apologize uh, ahead of time for, like, you know, not being able to show this off in its full drink or... Power assist movement activated. I'm kind of surprised with, like, you know, I've never seen this in, uh, like, a custom map rotation, because this seems like a pretty good one. I don't know, I guess that's the beauty of, like, you know, like, you know, going back through old maps and, like, you know, discovering people that have played these, like, back in the day, because I get to find out new stuff, you know? Not that I should say, I, I played, you know, this quite a bit. Like, you know, not to the same extent of, like, Team Fortress Classic and some other games. But I put some time into, like, Half-Life Deathmatch here, and I remember... You know, seeing quite a few maps, but yeah, this one, no. Never seen it. Very interesting. I see you there. Come on. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. didn't go so well for him, huh? That's the dangers of firing a rocket launcher in an enclosed area. That was a pretty... Oh! Oh! Did you see those pretty wizard shots? Oh my goodness! Someone slapped my belly button! Oh, I am the Revolver King! Someone give me a trophy! Goodness gracious! You want some of this? I'm giving you some of this! This aim is unstoppable! Until I miss every shot! Oh well. That's how she blows! Ah! Uh, 6v6. That was really good. Uh, thank you, Ryla, for uh, bringing this up because, yeah, this, I would totally have loved to play this in rotation on, like, a, a server or something. Yeah. 